Hey ladies, welcome to this week's Pocket Coaching. I'm so excited to have you and bring you to bring to you this teaching for this week. So the coaching for this week is going to be, I'm going to be focusing on marriage and relationships, but it can go with anything, okay? But that's what we're focusing on this week within Well Valley Daily Women's Group in the Vision Series. And it's basically, the Vision Workbook is basically, it's a 90 day, you purchase the workbook or you purchase the, the package, right? And it's delivered to your home and you go through the coaching at your pace, okay? And it's personal development, personal and professional development in all areas. Now, with every purchase of this workbook that is sent, delivered to your house, you are able to receive one hour coaching with me per month. So that's three coaching calls, so one a month. And that's included with the purchase of this workbook, okay? So I just wanted to share that with you because that is what it is in store of what's coming out pretty soon. So I just wanted to drop that to you. But I wanted to talk to you about focus goals, okay? And so when we make a focus goal, one of the things that a lot of my clients benefit from is focus goals allow you to take the overwhelm away from your passion, all right? And a lot of us moms, our passion is what God has called us to, right? It goes beyond a passion, but for just bear with me in this, in this, in this way I'm giving it to you, is it we we are a wife or maybe we're starting a new relationship and so we have this calling and new things are happening in our relationship realm right and then we're a mom and we're you know starting a business and we're working from home or maybe we're still working a career but we're wanting to launch our coaching business and we want to do all these kinds of things well when i'm sharing these things with you i'm my clients benefit from these simple focus tasks because well for one I, I did these when I was in my career, when I was in my um, grad program, and when I transitioned to be a stay-at-home mom that launched her business from breastfeeding my baby, <laughs> I stuck to what worked, okay? And so focus goals is something that I want you right now to do a brain dump, right? And so you're gonna do a brain dump, and out of that brain dump, Whatever you get from there, that the one thing that stands out, and there's other teachings in the group that you can find through that. And if you have any questions, just head on over to Well Valley Daily Women's Group. I'll put the link in the description of this video, and you'll be able to connect with us, and we'll get you through the membership process, okay? Now, mind you, this is a free coaching. What I'm giving you right now is free, okay? And it all develops into the when vision meets purpose, which is then leads into our 30, 60, 90 self-publishing program okay so this right here is a training to help you take whatever the one thing from your brain dump is whatever stood out the most that one thing okay you're going to take this over here and let's say it's complete the first chapter of your book okay so that's for outside category it's just an example but as far as the vision series, marriage and family, let's talk about one that stood out. Let's say maybe it's communication in your marriage, okay? So maybe the thing that's been setting you back is communication in your marriage. So one, what is something that you wanna focus on this week, the second week, the third week, the fourth week, right? And so what happens is, is you start with communication, but then you're like, that's, that's, there's so many things involved in communication, right? There's so many things that are involved. So this is where I have my clients branch it out, right? Into four categories. So this is week one, this is week two, this is week three, and this is week four. Now, once you break down the communication and Let's, these are gonna be what we call objectives and goal setting. So your goal is, focus goal is going to be, I want to increase communication with my husband 
by implementing a five minute conversation at dinner time. Okay, something like that. So talk at dinner is your goal, okay? Speaking at dinner is your goal. So from here, this right here is what's important because you're gonna take the speaking from dinner and you're going to say, well, what are some things that I need to address to make that a habit? Well, maybe it's like find topics. Maybe you're gonna find topics that you need to speak about, right? And then so all that first week, you're gonna look for a topic, right? Then you're gonna implement um, topics for the next week, right? Because if we do it all at once, we're overwhelmed. But if we start breaking it down, do you see why it's a focus? Your focus is the goal. A lot of times what I find is my, with my clients is that a lot of, it's just as moms as we get this big vision and we wanna bite more than we can chew, okay? So here's one, let's break it down into subcategories, okay? Or objectives, right? And so I'm gonna find one topic for per day for seven days. And then the next week I'm going to, because these are all measurable. And if you have any questions in the group, get in the group, get plugged in, and we can cover all of these types of things in the questions. And I can do a training inside of uh, Wild Valley Daily Women's Group if you're interested in that, okay? Just let me know in the comments if you have any questions in the group, okay? So um, you're gonna implement all of the things that you research, some topics that you wanna talk about for communication, you're gonna implement one a day for seven days because you have it, right? You have the information. Then from here, you're going to, maybe it's like, well, maybe I need to reflect back, right? So you have all these questions and you're kind of pondering, right? You ask these questions and you're like, oh, this is what happened, this is what happened, I get that this is great. Okay, so maybe it's just something sat on your heart and you're like, oh, this is driving me nuts. Like, I can't shake this. Well, then you start to take the one that was stressing you out here, you can then turn it into a conversation starter throughout the week and this would then start to where you're focusing on breaking down the issue, okay? Which is the goal for having healthier and more effective communication. So it might be understanding. You might have a conversation at the table about, well, what does this mean? You know, last week we talked about this and you know, you said it this way, but I kind of thought this, is that what you meant? A lot of us were trained to do it right here and then, right? And the reason why I, I work with my clients to do it this way is because a lot of times we want to know the answer right away, but we've never allowed ourselves the time to process something, okay? A lot of us are afraid of the process. And, and the reason why I share this with you, and I'm going to leave it on this, because once we take from the understanding then we turn that into the next month's goal. And it could be a new goal, it could be this is a new goal, or you know, this is great and it helps, so we're gonna move forward, okay? So that's the way that works. And the reason why I wanna end there is because a lot of times we bite off more than we can chew, and it's because we're working in a place of survival or anxiety, okay? When you start to look at your goals as and the focus of them, the mindset, as the peace of God that surpasses all understanding, which guards your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus, going through these and taking small bites actually leads you to bigger success, okay? So I love you with the love of the Lord. I pray this encouraged you, and thanks for, walking, for watching this week's Pocket Coaching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.